Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. I'm really, really, really excited. I can't overstate how excited I am to talk about today's news. Jeremy Jordan is coming back. He is officially coming back as Windshot. They are shooting his first scenes tonight. We're going to talk about that and a lot more in today's video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, I'm ecstatic to report that Jeremy Jordan himself has confirmed it is his first day back filming on Supergirl, directed by David Harewood. And this is tonight, he is officially coming back. I have real doubts that he would return due to the fact that I don't entirely trust the showrunners because they said Wynn would come back last season, but I think that was down to scheduling conflicts with Jeremy and his run on Broadway, and they've you know, said some things in the past that haven't come true. But, Jeremy has confirmed it himself, he is finally coming back, and they did say he was going to have a three-part story, so that means he will be coming back. I think they're filming episode 10 right now, and I think he'll be around to episode 13. I could be completely wrong about that, but definitely three episodes at least, and it seems like he will be there for the 100th episode, because the 100th episode is episode 13. So we have to theorize about why Wynn is coming back because remember the last time we saw Wynn he went to the future with mon -El. He took Brainy's place essentially in the Legion of Superheroes. I don't think Brainy's gonna go back to the future but like imagine a world in which we got Wynn, Jeremy Jordan back as a series regular. I haven't actually been this hyped for Supergirl in such a long time. Like I'm just seriously over the moon because I feel like this is the thing that we needed. It's just, you know, a sort of breath of fresh air going back to the old days of Supergirl that Supergirl needs right now. I feel like season four, obviously it got good with Lex and Red Daughter in the back half, but it was a little bit of a drag at the start. And I feel like the start of this season, like episode one, two, and three were pretty good, but then episode four wasn't so good. And I just don't think the storyline is that intriguing. And something like this has got me, like, just in complete anticipation. I just can't wait for this. And I think that's the same with a lot of people. And I think a lot of people will come back to watching the show, even if they've stopped. So I've been getting a lot of messages recently. Like, I've been asking people and, you know, they've been saying, oh, we stopped Supergirl because of this reason or another. And I think this is going to bring back a lot of fans, and that's a great thing, because, you know, there is not many of the original cast left, and bringing back one, man, that's so exciting. So, going back to theorizing about why he's coming back, so, yeah, he went to the future, he's been in the future the whole time with mon -El. therefore, maybe we'll get some references to mon -El, and maybe this is a way for him to be involved in the 100th episode. Obviously, I've been told... I didn't know this before, but Chris hasn't been around Vancouver this year, and he's been based in LA, and Melissa's been going over to LA, so that's how it's been working. He hasn't been visiting. However, I think if they are going to bring mon -El back and obviously end his arc on episode 13, maybe he goes back to the future, maybe you have a lot of mon -El references, I'm expecting at least a couple of references because you know he's been with him for however many years or however many months you know he has been in the future with him because he has been with mon -El the whole time so i'm expecting that maybe it does bring the return of mon -El for like one episode for the hundredth episode maybe he returns with mon -El back to the future but i think the most likely thing is obviously crisis i think after crisis because he will be returning you know, maybe one episode, or it could be two episodes after Crisis. I think Crisis is either episode 8 or 9, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 8. So, after the mid-season, Wynn returns, and Wynn comes back, and I think maybe with what happened in Crisis, you know, the Legion is definitely aware of it, and maybe this causes him to want to go back in the past. I think that would be a pretty good explanation, so... I think that's my best theory as of right now, as to why Wynn would return from the future. So let me know, what are your reactions to Jeremy Jordan officially coming back to Supergirl as Wynn shot? 
I am ridiculously excited. You know, it's full on all happening now. I just want this to be like a great lead up to the 100th episode and like the 100th episode better bang. They better bring back as many people as they can. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's move on to talk about some other Supergirl stuff. We've got a new casting announcement, Nick Sagar, or however you say his name, he's from Shadowhunters. He is going to be appearing in a couple of episodes. He is going to be playing a villain who is set to recur, so that means he'll be in about three episodes or so. And he's playing the villain Riproar, who was seen in the trailer for next week's episode. So he is known as a multi-armed, technologically advanced villain who goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kara. So in the comics, I talked about this in my trailer breakdown the other week. Well, a few days ago, really. Not that far away. Basically, in the comics, he's actually from Apocalypse. He is not anything to do with technology. He has nothing to do with that. He is a four-armed being. He is extremely powerful. So they're obviously changing it for the show. And I think, you know, maybe that could be a good thing. More likely than not, it's not going to be like an amazing adaptation because the comic book version seems to be more enticing, I would say. However, I guess I'm looking forward to it. He's just going to be popping up here and there. It's not going to be anything major, so I wouldn't really like be putting all your money on this being like the best thing ever. So let's move on to talk about the final thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. This is the new photos that have been released for Supergirl's new episode which is coming up very very soon and we're going to be breaking down the photos for dangerous liaisons it's coming out tomorrow night sunday night it's currently saturday night right now they released it kind of late but we're still going to be talking about it because there's some great photos some of the best photos they've taken so yeah let's break them down the first photo is of danson hashtag danson kelly and alex i like them i really like them Although Kelly's stuff last episode with James wasn't a fan of that, was completely out of nowhere. However, I love when she's with Alex and they have some great stuff going on right there. Obviously in this photo, they're eating, they're, but they're at the DEO. I think they're eating like gyozas or something, um, but it's just a very cute photo. They're sort of smiling, smirking at each other. Then we go to the DEO at the main desk and we have... Supergirl, we have Alex, and we have Brainy. This is just a very nice photo. They're sort of all together in this frame, just one by one. Then we got the best photo out of the bunch. We got Supergirl. She's standing there, staring. I just really love these photos when we really get to see the suit. And, you know, you can really see the shine on the suit and the texture. And it's just something really to admire. And, yeah, so let's move on to the next photo. We got Alex in her DEO suit. I really do think they need to switch it up a bit. I don't know. I'm getting a bit tired of it. I think they need to get rid of the black because it's just kind of same old, same old. Maybe, you know, spice it up a bit. I don't know. Change the colors, change the scheme, change maybe the material. I don't know. Then we move on to the next shot, and this is really strange. I am very confused by this. Uh, yeah. Brainy. Well,. We think it's Brainy. He's in Metacuffs or like Alien Cuffs or something like that to dampen powers. He is in the interrogation room at the DEO and he's got spider webs and spiders on him. So maybe this is a link to that past villain who had the spiders. I don't know. Maybe it's to do with the Shadow Killer. Maybe it is the Shadow Killer. I'm not sure. But I have to say it's very intriguing. But. It looks weird. It looks like someone's just drawn it on his face, which obviously they have. So, yeah. Then we move on. This is a shot where we see Kara and Alex. They are both on the other side of the desk to this version of Brainy, and they are interrogating him, it seems. Then we got this, and this bystander is wearing those, you know, uh, obsidian things, you know, contact lenses, I guess. So Alex is there saving her. Then we move on to the next photo. We got a nice photo of Nia. She's using her powers. There was some funny behind the scenes videos that went out over the past few days of her using her powers, like whipping around like Nicole doing it. It's great. It's great fun. You guys should check it out. Then the last photo is of uh, what I do believe is actually Rip Raw. Like I could be wrong, but with William as well. Or it could just be William's friend. I'm not sure. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you're hyped for Win returning, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see rare.